Right, I've just emptied the kiln. <coughs> Excuse my croaky voice. Um, kiln's empty. You can see. 95% uh, success. Uh, go through the failures first. Um, this one here is uh, slightly under fire, it's a bit satiny. It's a uh, Temaku over a black slip. Uh, that's not worked very well. Uh, this one here, Little Green Army, the glaze has crawled away from the slip, so I can't. I saw I've decided not to put this Temaku over the top of this black slip. So that's a couple of failures, here's some successes. Um, This is a um, crawling chino with just cobalt oxide painted on. That's quite nice, that one. Oops. These ones here are were on the bag wall and they were on shelves. Let's see if I can find a good example. Uh, it's got wood ash dusted on it, so that's quite quite nice. These little pots here. That one's got no wood ash on. This one here, you can see, this was right at the back of the bag wall and it's oxidised on that side there, so at the very back of the end of the flame there's an oxidation spot, so I'll just have to bring the pots a bit further forward. That's the last, the very last one on the end. You can see the difference between how glazes react under reduction and how chinos go quite horrible under oxidation. There's a definite line there where the where the reduction ended, if you can see. So that's quite a good example there. Hi, George. Always wants to get in on the act. Another crawling chino with uh, uh, cobalt on. There's a nice teapot there. nicely they always do this is an experiment this is a, a black clay quite dark clay with black slip on it and then white slip and then cobalt so there's quite a lot going on with that one nice and toasty there's a moon jar that I've uh, I just dipped in the uh, chino and then just wiped my fingers on it it's quite a nice lively pot uh, the oops Another nice one here. This is a nice bowl. It's got the uh, cobalt on it again. But the inside of that spiral is really nice. So that's a nice pot there. These ones here are, are an order. These are little black caddies. Salad and bowls. See the difference between. Um, the same brushwork on there, on that celadon, has all run because the celadon is, is a much glassier um, glaze, fluxes more compared with the chino, where it stays put. These are, these are uh, hakame bowls with a really nice uh, temaco inside. You have to make sure that uh, you sieve the temaku every time you use it, otherwise you get lumps in it, but they're, they're perfect. Very nice. And there's the same hakame bowl, but that's got a chino inside it. Now we're coming on to the um, nuka. These are little caddies with the uh, nuka with, uh, this is uh, iron rust dropped on it, sieved on it where it runs nicely into there. Uh, then we come a few more bowls there. That's a big crawling bowl. Same glaze as this. Same glaze as this here but on a bigger bowl. They always work nicely. Decorative rather than functional these. And then finally the big one. That came out quite really, really nicely. Um, so all in all uh, quite a good result. Oh, one more here, which is quite a nice nuka, example of a nuka. 
these are fired separately that's fired on a shell yeah, so you get a nice rim so you get two pots for the sake of one you get them um, for the price of one you get a nice moon jar if you just like moon jars if I left that unglazed it would just be a, a caddy a functional pot but that's quite a nice decorative piece on its own and then when you put the lid on it, it becomes a caddy so uh, two pots for the price of one uh, mistakes when you uh, load the kiln up you have to make sure there's no bits dropping in the bottom of there a tiny bit of clay that drops off the shelf above that'll grind out and we can uh, we'll use that in the kitchen uh, what else oh some uh, wood ash some little tea bowls they're quite nice that's chino with wood ash dusted on another one there they're nice and then one final one a really nice tea bowl with some iron and uh, red clay brushwork so all in all um, all in all a very successful firing I think um, it takes a couple of days for it all to sink in uh, I'll look at them oh one more mistake one more this one here as you can see that's a nice big bolt, big pot, but it's, it's cracked at the bottom there under its own weight. It's quite thin that bottom of there. You can see it. It's split both sides, so I need to make these uh, bottoms a bit chunkier, I think. Uh, I'll show you a long shot of it. Quite a nice bottle. Um, that was caused by the weight of the pot and the thinness of the rim, so you learn a lesson there. It'll uh, make a nice garden pot for the summer. Okay, so uh, get these photographed now, put on social media, get them put on Etsy, one or two will see Etsy. Uh, the link to the shop is just below. And uh, time to go make some more pots now, get another firing done.